Look at all those bath bombs that need to be wrapped. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to another video. This video is a highly requested one and I'm so, so excited for you guys to see what we have in store today. Cause today we are showing you how exactly we pack a wholesale order. We're gonna show you how we individually package the product, how we make sure all of those packages are secure and bundled in a way so that they make it to their destination in one piece. The type of shipping box we use, we obviously don't use the small white fold up boxes that we use for our regular retail orders. This video is jam-packed full of information. If you are taking on wholesale customers that you are shipping product to on the other side of the continent, this is a must watch. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Jerrica and I am the owner and creator of Quench along with my husband Kale. And on this channel, we talk all about how we make our product, sell our product, everything that someone would want to know about starting a soap or bath bomb business or soap and bath bomb business in 2021. <laughs> so if that sounds like something that you are into, definitely subscribe because you will learn a lot and everyone who is already subscribed you guys are just so amazing thank you so much you are the reason why i am so motivated to keep pumping out videos and now without further ado let's get into it so i mentioned before that we have a few wholesale orders that we need to get out in january and this is some of the product that we've set aside for those orders and today we are finishing up one of those orders so that is what we're going to be showing you today and in this wholesale order they have ordered soap bars and bath bombs and this order is actually how many times did i say order <laughs> this order is actually going all the way to calgary we are shipping a whole lot of product far far away and we definitely need to make sure that everything gets there in one piece these soaps have already been wrapped up in their biodegradable film they just need some stickers we have a few more bath bombs that we need to label and wrap and these guys need to be wrapped up in biodegradable shrink wrap this is our rose soap by the way and i think it's so beautiful I am in love with this rose soap, but it's on the endangered list and we might actually get rid of it So sad, but I might be replacing this rose garden soap with a rose essential oil type soap I don't know. We shall see. Good morning. Good morning So I just finished telling them what we were going to be doing how we were gonna be putting stickers on these guys Wrapping these guys maybe wrapping a few more bath bombs. Yeah all in preparation to get it out the door Hopefully today or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. So we are gonna go into all all of that so come along for the journey. Kale's gonna start off by wrapping these rose garden soaps. We are using our national shrink wrap system. This is the 18 inch wand with 60 gauge biodegradable biolefilin. Bi I really hope I'm saying that right. Bio Film. Biolefin. Biolefin? Biolefin. If you want to know where I got this, the link to National Shrink Wraps website is in my description below. We just changed this. Yeah, this is a new role. Uh, Fresh new role. It doesn't even make sense. Why I think about you. It was only one night. Only that time and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk, it's blurry but I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't And I should let it be But I'm gonna dive, dive into you and maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you So those are all wrapped, we are just gonna get the stickers onto these guys And that's the front sticker up here which tells people what the scent is and what the product is And on the back we put a full ingredient list and for that, we use online labels. We love online labels because they make those clear see-through stickers. And so if you put it on a product like this, you're still able to see your beautiful designs right through that sticker. You're not covering anything up, which is why we really like it. And here are the labels for our Rose Garden soaps. It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch the room caught on fire we could blame it on the wine, but we know that we will both be lying. I wish I didn't want you. 
So the reason why we really love biolefolin, biodegradable shrink wrap for our products, especially for wholesale, is because we feel that this shrink wrap really, really helps to protect the product, especially if you're shipping it such a far distance away. This is really an amazing option because we also do botanicals on top of our soaps and the wrap really does a great job of protecting all of that and making sure that this looks like this by the time it gets to its destination. So I really highly recommend National Shrink Wrap System. We have been using it for a year now. I don't regret spending the money on the system for one second because it's really helped us speed up our process and also helps make our products look amazing. So what is the next step here? So now I'm just getting these uh, soaps into these boxes that we get our jars in. In this wholesale order, there are a total of 68 soaps. I know from doing this before that we can get about 30 bars in one of these boxes. So I'm gonna fill these two boxes and then kind of get a smaller packaging solution for the other eight bars. Okay, this is a list of the products that we need to get in this wholesale order. And like Hale said, we use these boxes we reuse a lot of boxes in this company, but to give our soap the best possible chance of getting there in one piece, we like to really pack them securely in these boxes and we'll put these in a much larger box and make sure everything is secure. We saw the soaps and that was actually the easy part. <laughs> the much easier part. Yeah, we are gonna be sending 220 bath bombs to this wholesale customer. So we will show you how we do that. And this is an example of what we do. You can see how secure these bath bombs are and we will show you exactly how we get them in this bundle right now. Look at all those bath bombs that need to be wrapped. <laughs> so I get these guys in here and I put them in basically do three rows of three. And so nine balls. As Jerrica said, packed pretty tightly because the goal was to get them across the country from Ontario to Alberta in one piece. It's yeah. not easy to do with bath bombs. So that's why we take all of these extra precautions and we've learned uh, from the past that some orders haven't always got there. So, but with, with this style, We've had pretty good luck. So now we're going to shrink wrap this so that's so that it's even tighter. And Kay will show you how we do that. So because they're in this bag right now, they're unstable. If I were to pick it up, they would just kind of flop around. Yeah, like they're very rocks. Like, so I first just kind of tighten up the shrink wrap by keeping it on the hot mat, go around a little bit, and as we as this tightens up, it will get to the point to where we can at least it's flip nice. it over and then just kind of tighten up the other side. And by the time I'm done with this, it will they will be nicely packed into a nice tight square. So look how secure that's become. It's now one unit instead of nine individual bath bombs rolling around. This is much more uh, shipment friendly than before. Yep, these aren't going anywhere once we get them into more packaging. Yep, so to add an even better layer of protection, we're now gonna be covering this uh, bath bomb bundle in bubble wrap. And for those of you guys wondering where we get all of our bubble wrap from, we buy them from Staples. That's the best price that we've seen so far. If you guys have any other suppliers that you guys know of, let us know in the comments. And we particularly like this roll. This is the 12 inch width. It's nice just because it's the perfect width for three bath bombs wide, one across. Jerka, did you order more bubble wrap? Um, no. I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 27 out of 220 right there. <laughs> it's a start. Yep. And you can 10 see. Done. Yep. And you can see how it's a tower now. And these bath bombs are much easier to stack and they are a lot more secure and a lot more shipment friendly. They are well protected.
We got all those bath bombs wrapped and Kale is now at the point where we are gonna be packing it into the box that we're gonna to use to ship. Yeah, this is kind of like, we're just going as on this now. So I'm just kind of getting some ideas on what we might do. This is the soap that we have in boxes there. I don't think that's gonna work. I think I'm gonna end up putting these heavy soap boxes on the bottom and then uh, stacking a lot of these on top of the boxes and then having a few of these kind of upright against the walls. Okay, all right, let's see how you do that then. So in terms of shipping wholesale orders where there's a lot of product, what we love to do is reuse these really big boxes that we get from our suppliers. So in the case of this box right here, this is a, a box that Staple sent to us that used to have spring fill inside of it. And these boxes are great to reuse because they're so sturdy. They're large and we know that they can withstand heavy packages. So if you're looking to do wholesale orders, I would recommend saving a few of these just in case you need them to ship them out. And yeah, we just really like reusing them. If you see boxes with kind of a the corrugated corrugated middle there. You always know that those are pretty sturdy. A lot more sturdy than moving boxes. Yeah. So sometimes you will get to the point where you put all of your product inside of the box that you choose for the shipment, but then you realize the box is way too small and that's what we've discovered here. As you can see, these bath bombs spill way higher than how tall the actual box is. So what we're gonna do is create our own box because we don't have um, the perfect size box for these guys. And what I mean by that is we will tape up the size of a box and create a box that will fit all of them all together. And the reason why we're not doing it with this box Boxes, we have better options and we'll show you how we Franken box a box together just now. As you can see here, we've taped up all the sides. So now we have a much taller box. And if you're wondering what, we, what are we gonna do to close this box, we will take another box and just tape it over the top to create a nice lid for, for our box. <laughs> Say box one more time, huh? <laughs> so now what we're gonna do, now that we know that all of our contents fit into this box and we have decided that this is the box we're gonna use for our shipment, we're gonna now reinforce everything and do our best to fill in the nooks and crannies with paper. Um, what else, Kale? What do you use to fill the voids in here? Um, yeah, paper, extra cardboard. Extra for, cardboard and... Boxes down there. Um, some yeah. Bubble wrap, other just other packing material that we've obtained. Yeah, um, we reuse a lot of materials, of yep. Just to add a lot more cushion, because like I mentioned, you do not want any type of void in your box when you ship it. So you can see how we are filling the void with this paper here, which really helps to keep the bath bombs moving around. But we also make sure that we want to keep the bath bombs away from the sides. And Kale is doing a really good job of that by padding the space between the balls and the box with paper. And the reason for that is this box is going to go through some rough uh, transit and it might get kicked, it might get... Um, pushed aside, it might get a whole bunch of stuff happening to it. You really want to try to protect these guys as much as you can. We got the fill all the way to the top and all of the bath bombs are nicely protected, but we're going to add some more. Right, Kale? Yep. 
What is that? We want to put some cardboard here on top. This is yes. not going to be the top of the box yet. We'll do that after. Um, but we want to put some cardboard on the inside of it. So that there's a layer a protection. So we add these layers of cardboard because this also helps to distribute any weight that the postal system may put on top of our box. So because it's such a big and heavy box, what we have been discovering with the postal system is that they like to stack these boxes on top of one another. And because, like I said, it's a bigger box, this will likely be at the bottom of the pile. Sure be at the bottom. So we really want to make sure that we have a lot of hard reinforcement on the very top of our box so that anything that is sitting on top of our box, its weight will be better distributed through these uh, levels of reinforcement. And for those wondering where we got this particular box, this was actually the box that our bulk coconut oil pails came in from New Directions Aromatics. So I don't think you can necessarily buy these boxes, but we definitely love reusing them and we save each and every one of these types of boxes in particular because we love that double corrugation and they're awesome for wholesale orders. And the boxes on top that are providing reinforcement are actually the dividers that fit in inside of this box already so it makes a really nice extra layer for the top of the box because it fits the edges perfectly so now kale is cutting up another box to be our lid and this is the the original box that we were going to use i guess it's still gonna be used for this purpose just it's gonna be the lid <laughs> and I've used these as a lid before for this particular Franken box that we've made. Yeah. So I know that it fits pretty well. I'll have to end up cutting off a little bit over side, yeah, on we're... this side so it doesn't overlap, and yeah. a little bit on the other side because it's a little bit too. You can long. bend it, can't you? Can't yeah, I can do that. Yeah. What we're trying to achieve here is a new lid for this box, and we will cover everything up with tape, and we will show you just how Kale does that. So we have the first layer of the lid on and you can see how this side where it wasn't overlapping, it's still pretty weak. See how it goes in? But the sides that have a bit of an overhang over the edge are very solid. It's not going in at all. So what we like to do is a double layer. This is the first layer and we're gonna do another layer where we have some cardboard going over the edge of this one so that it's just as strong as these sides. So we have taped down the sides and the top seems very secure. And now one of the last steps is to tape all over the top as well to provide a waterproof layer. There's a lot of snow happening right now in Canada, possibly rain in the future. And if any moisture gets on top of this, it will seep right through since it's paper. And we like to cover the top with packing tape just so that if moisture does get on top, it trickles over down to the sides and doesn't soak into the box. And we really want to anticipate anything that can go wrong and do our best while the power is in our hands to prevent as much as possible. So how much did this package end up weighing? This one is about 61 pounds. And 61 pounds, yep. Canada Post does not allow you to ship anything more than 66 pounds, so we are under that threshold. Perfect. And we like to use them, so. Yeah, this is awesome. So now what we will do is enter the dimensions of the box, the weight of the box, into Snapship, which is the courier that we like to use for these big shipments, for our wholesale customers pretty much, and print out the label. So we just put the information in to make a shipping label. I haven't purchased it yet. I've saved that label and I've now gotten in touch with the customer to let them know what the price is. They will send us those funds. And once that's taken place, then I'll print out the label, boom, stick it on top of the package and then it will be ready to go. Yeah, we don't like to send a package until the customer has paid for shipping. So that's it for this video. I hope you found everything informative. I know that a lot of you are interested in taking on some wholesale clients so we hope that this video has given you some information and has been insightful for your journey thanks for watching yeah. uh please subscribe to jerica um, to you too <laughs> it's the both it's of both. us <laughs> yeah please subscribe we, we hope you enjoyed it and leave a thumbs up if you liked it oh yeah if you have any questions leave a comment down below we'll do our best to answer those stay healthy stay well stay positive with everything going on in the world mm -hmm. and uh we will see you next time bye, bye.